destruction. While patriarchal blessings are very private, I will share a short quote from mine. You should be guided through the whisperings of the Holy Spirit, and you should be warned of danger. If you heed those warnings, our Heavenly Father will bless you so that you might be again reunited with your loved one. That word, if, though small in print, loomed as big as the page. I would be blessed to return from the war if I kept the commandments and if I heeded the promptings of the Holy Ghost. Although that gift had been conferred upon me at baptism, I did not yet know what the Holy Ghost was or how the promptings worked. What I needed to know about the promptings I found in the Book of Mormon. I read that angels speak by the power of the Holy Ghost, wherefore they speak the words of Christ. Wherefore I said unto you, feast upon the words of Christ, for the words of Christ will tell you all things that ye should do. Perhaps the single greatest thing I learned from reading the Book of Mormon is that the voice of the Spirit comes as a feeling rather than a sound. You will learn, as I have learned, to listen for that voice that is felt rather than heard. Nephi scolded his older brother, saying, Ye have seen an angel, and he spake unto you. Yea, he hath, you have heard his voice from time to time. He has spoken to you in a still, small voice, but you are past the feeling that you could not feel his words. Some critics have said that these verses are in error because you hear words, you do not feel them. But if you know anything at all about spiritual communication, you know that the best word to describe what takes place is the word feeling. The gift of the Holy Ghost, if you consent, will guide and protect you and even correct your actions. It is the spiritual, spiritual voice that comes into the, your mind as a thought or a feeling, but into your heart. The prophet Enos said, The voice of the Lord came into my mind. And the Lord told Oliver Cowdery, Behold, I will tell you in your mind and in your heart by the Holy Ghost, which will come upon you, it is not expected that you go through life without making mistakes, but you'll not make a major mistake without first being warned by the promptings of the Spirit. The promise applies to all members of the Church. Some will make critically serious mistakes, transgressing the laws of the Gospel. Here it is time to remind you of the Atonement. Acceptance, repentance, and complete forgiveness to the point that you can become pure again. The Lord said, He who has repented of his sins, the same shall be forgiven, and I, the Lord, remember them no more. If the adversary should take you prisoner due to misconduct, I remind you that you hold a key that will unlock that prison door from the inside. You can be washed clean through the atoning sacrifice of Jesus Christ, our Savior. You may, in time of trouble, think that you're not worth saving because you made some mistakes, big or little, and you may think that you're now lost. That is never true. Only repentance can heal what hurts, but repentance can heal what hurts, no matter what it is. If you are slipping into things that you should not slip into, or if you are associating with people who are pulling you away to the wrong direction, that is the time to assert your independence, your agency. Listen to the voice of the Spirit, and you will not be led astray. I say again that you today are being raised in enemy territory with a declining standard morality. But as a servant of the Lord, I promise you, 
that you'd be protected and shielded from the attacks of the adversary if you will heed the promptings that comes from the Holy Ghost. Dress modestly, talk reverently, listen to uplifting music, avoid all immorality and personally degrading practices. Take hold of your life and order yourself to be valued. Because we depend so much on you, you will be remarkably blessed. You're never far from the side of your Heavenly Father. The strength of my testimony has changed since I felt a need to lean on the testimony of my seminary teachers. Today I lean on others when I walk due to old age and childhood polio, but not from doubt regarding spiritual matters. I've come to believe, to understand and to know the precious truth of the gospel and of the Savior, Jesus Christ. As one of his special witnesses, I testify that the outcome of this battle that began, that began in premortal life is not in question. Lucifer will lose. We spoke earlier of crows. You young crows need not fly aimlessly to and fro, unsure of the path ahead. There are those who know the way. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The Lord organized his church on the principle of keys and counsel. At the head of the church is 15 men, sustained as prophets, seers, and revelators. Each of the presidency and the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles hold all of the keys of the priesthood necessary for directing the church. The senior apostle is the prophet president, Thomas S. Monson who's the only one authorized to exercise all of those keys. The scriptures require that the First Presidency and the Quorum of the Twelve work in council, and that the decisions of those councils be unanimous. And so it is. We trust the Lord to guide the way and seek only to do His will. We know that He has placed a great deal of trust in us, individually and collectively. You must learn to trust in the Lord with all thine heart and be not in thine own understanding. You must be trustworthy and surround yourself with friends that desire to be likewise. Sometimes you might be tempted to think as I did from time to time by right? you, the way things are going, the world going to be over with. The end of the world is going to come before I get to where I should be. Not so. You can look forward to doing it right, getting married, having a family, seeing your children and grandchildren, maybe even great-grandchildren. If you will follow these principles, you will be watched over and protected, and you yourself will know by the promptings of the Holy Ghost which way to go, or by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ye may know the truth of all things. I promise you that it will be so, and invoke a blessing upon you, our precious youth, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.